Yeah, wanna know what it's like Life. Baby, show me what it's like Life. I don't want to fight no tights Life. I just wanna fuck all night Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Baby, mm. I need to know mm. Oh. Mm. I just been fantasizing mm. And we got a lot of time mm. Baby, come throw the pipe Gotta know what it's like Yeah, yeah Oh, 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 oh. What's up, Aries? Welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Aries out there are doing well. So we're going to get into the spirit, you guys, and see what it is that spirit wants you to know. If you find that something resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could have recently walked away from someone, okay? You could have cut off a connection or you walked away from this person, but this shit really was the hardest thing that you've ever had to do. Like, you didn't want to walk away from this person. You didn't want to cut these ties. You know, this is someone that you love and who you want to be with. But for some of you, you could have found out that this person was being unfaithful, okay? This could have been something you asked this person all the time, you know, question them, like, are you cheating? Are you doing this? And they was like, no, Aries, I ain't doing nothing. But you could have later, out, later on discovered that this person was being unfaithful, okay? And that shit broke your heart. Why? Because you was being loyal to this person. You was being loyal to this man. You was being loyal to this woman, okay? Even though you guys may have been having problems, you weren't out here just giving their little, little goodies away, okay? So you were heartbroken to find out that this person cheated on you. And then you probably was even more pissed off to find out that they could have contracted an STD from a third party, okay? So someone here could have stepped out on this relationship, stepped out on this connection. They was unfaithful and then fucked around and contracted an STD from a third party. But you were dealing with someone who was full of pride and who was full of ego, okay? They need to check their ego at the front door, Aries, okay? They had to go through this ego check. So I feel like them contracting this STD from this third party, especially after they stepped out on this relationship, like this really helped to check this person's ego, okay? And they had to realize, like, uh-uh, I just can't be out here doing any and everything with any and everybody, okay? I feel like right now, Aries, you are learning how to walk along. You're learning how to be by yourself. So this could have been a relationship or a connection. You know, you could have been in for a few years or for a little while. But it's like now you're kind of having to like relearn to walk by yourself, not to be able to maybe depend on this person or getting used to being by yourself, not having this person in your energy. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is after you separate from someone. It's like, damn, I got to start this shit all over again. I got to start this process of being to myself. Now, someone in your energy, they wish they can talk to you, okay? Someone wants to reach out, and they wish they can talk to you. So you may have this person blocked, or because they know that they cheated or they did something wrong, like they don't feel comfortable reaching out because they probably know they're going to get cussed out, okay? So someone here wishes they can talk to you. They wish they can reach out. I feel like they realize that they lost the best thing that they ever had, honey, okay? Because, baby, you the best, okay? I don't know why this person decided they was going to step out and be unfaithful with Aries, okay? But this is what this person chose to do. But it's like now, you know, this could be someone who's having time to reflect. Or, you know, they can be spending time to themselves. And they realize, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I really messed up. I let a good thing go. I feel like right now, Aries, you're focused on your sacred chakra, okay? I feel like that some of you guys may be celibate, you know what I'm saying? But you're really focused on your emotions and your creativity, you want to continuously express yourself in a healthy way. You know, we express our feelings and emotions. Even though you may be emotional, you mad, you pissed off, you don't want to always be cussing folks off, cussing folks out and going off. You know what I'm saying? You're you're wanting to learn to express your feelings in a healthy way. You want somebody who can express their feelings in a healthy way to you, whether they mad, sad, however they're feeling, you know? I feel like some of you are learning how to maintain a healthy relationship with money. Okay, you can have some water placements in your charts. You can be a, a water sign, rising, or moon here, okay? Orange could also be a color that you see a lot, or maybe you've been wearing this color a lot. But I feel like you were dealing with someone who their crown chakra was blocked, okay? They was disconnected from source. They didn't have a relationship with Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? They had a difficult time trusting their path. They didn't know why they was here. They didn't know what they were supposed to do. Like, they was just here existing. They weren't living. This could have been someone who dealt with the depression, you know, they felt alone and they lacked the, the, the faith and the courage that they needed to be able to walk that walk and to be able to stand in their power here, okay? 
Now, someone here could be waiting by the phone, baby. They're waiting to hear from you. You could be maybe here waiting to hear from someone. Maybe this could be some type of news or information or something that's coming in. But I feel like regardless, Aries, of what you went through with this person, they weren't ready for you, okay? They weren't ready for the type of man or the type of woman that you were. Some of you need to set boundaries with this person. Y'all still may be talking to them, you know what I'm saying, here and there. But if this person cheated, if this person didn't treat you right in a relationship, man, it's time to cut their ass off, okay? There are some boundaries that need to be set either, either with this person or with other people in your life here, okay? And someone here cannot help you financially. So this could be someone, maybe they're suffering financially here, or they're taking some type of financial loss, or they just don't want to help you financially here, okay? All right, you guys, so let's see exactly who this reading is about. I'm going to pull from my who date first. Okay, so these cards, you guys, this can be a description of you or this can be a description of your person, okay? You guys just have to take it, how it resonates here, okay? Messages for my Aries. Who is this reading about for Aries? And then we'll also roll the dice and see who it's about to as well. Messages for my Aries, I was see it. Who is this reading about for Aries? Who is this reading about for Aries? Okay. So Aries, this person has thick eyebrows. We got big lips. They can have a tongue ring. And this person can be age 20 to 25. Okay. So let's roll. Let's get the signs and see who this reading is about. All right. You could be dealing with heavy Gemini, Pisces, Taurus. Capricorn, Libra, Sag, Aquarius, Heavy Taurus, and Heavy Cancer. All right, you guys, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.